Hi everyone, this is Kelly from Boho Knits, and today I want to show you how to work the short row bubbles from the bandana cowl. It doesn't have an official name yet, but it will soon. Um, so this is um, the wool I'm using for this one is um, called Tangled Poets Backpacker by Aberdeen Wool Company. And I really love how the colors are coming out. This is a hand dyed yarn uh, dyed in Canada. So um, I've already started this row. So I've worked my half bubble at the edge and another full bubble. And I'm about to work my next full bubble. So I'm gonna place my marker starting with row one obviously and then I'm just going to knit 12. You don't have to use a marker but I really find that it helps me. Um, I know we're only counting to 12 but then I can easily just count back 12 from the marker. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12. So we're really not going to use the marker again. It's just for counting. Okay, so I've turned it now so the wrong side is facing. And a quick little German short row lesson. Uh, if you do need more help with German short rows, then just Google YouTube. There's lots of really great uh, tutorials. So uh, first thing to do, slip your stitch purlwise over to the right needle. Then you're gonna pull your strand to the back nice and tight. And you'll see that you get these two little legs. So you had one stitch, just pull it back and you get these two little guys. And then we're just gonna keep knitting. So um, now I'm on row two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I have one stitch left before the marker. We're gonna turn again so the right side is facing. Work our German short row. This is really my favorite short row method. Um, you could use wrap and turn for these, but I wouldn't recommend it. It would be really irritating picking up all those little wraps. Um, this method is just so easy and it looks beautiful. Okay, so I've doubled my stitch and now we're gonna do eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So um, you'll notice in these rows, they go in increments of two. So um, first we knit 12, then we knit back 10, then we knit back eight, then we knit back six. Um, so what happens is our previous doubled stitch, there's one regular stitch after that. So we're gonna turn, work our short row, and then knit six. Two, three, four, five, so if you lose track, just look back to where your last doubled stitch was. They're usually pretty obvious. It might not be as obvious in the video. So then we have our six. Um, so then we're going to turn again. Now this next row, um, so I'm looking at row five, is um, five stitches. So this row is a bit of an anomaly, and it's because we're turning to go back the other way. So um, the stitch counts go 12, 10, 8, 6, 5, 6, 8, 10, and then we knit across. So it's a pretty easy sequence to remember. So double our stitch, knit 5, 3, 4, 5. And this is the only time, oops, only time that we knit right up to that last doubled stitch. So we don't have that single regular stitch in between. So we're knitting right up to that one. And I find it helpful just to remind myself that the row five is always done on the right side. So if you have your locking marker on the right side to identify it, then it's easy to just do a little check. So now we're gonna go back again. So double the stitch and then knit six. So what's different about these rows is that when we come to a doubled stitch, we're going to knit it together. So I can see I've got my two little legs. They're pretty obvious because it just looks really weird. So you're going to knit these together and what you do is insert it so that you're going sort of right through the middle of the stitch. I don't know if you can see that. Again, if you need more help, just search on YouTube and then knit those together so you're closing off that stitch. And then we're gonna knit one more. So whenever you close a stitch, 
um, it's counted as part of your stitch count. So we're going to close them as we go. So we doubled our stitch, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so turning again, we're going to do the same thing. Anytime you come to a double stitch during these rows, you'll close it up. So we're doing eight this time. Seven, close those two, and then knit into a regular stitch. An easy way to sort of remember is you'll knit, close those stitches, and then end by knitting a regular knit stitch. So you'll never close a doubled stitch and then turn. You'll always turn after you've knit a regular stitch. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so now we're on 10, which is um, row eight. Double our stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Close it up. Nine. Close it up. And ten. So we're back to the uh, the marker that we placed at the beginning, and we're actually going to remove it now. Don't need it anymore. Okay. So I'm going to turn. Double the stitch. And then. I'm going to knit 11 this time. So, this is 10, close it up, and 11. So on this last row, you'll always end by closing up those two last doubled stitches. And then we have somewhere back here, this little green guy is that doubled stitch. Now, we will be working a wrong side row, and when we do, uh, we'll come back across and close up all those last doubled stitches so don't worry about them and if your bubbles look a little wonky right now I know see this looks like it's just straight across you can see once you keep knitting it'll you'll get your nice little eye shaped bubbles okay so now we're ready to work our next bubble so I'd place my marker again and again if you're confident counting to 12 then you don't need the marker but um, I just find if I have to look away for a second then it's just a little bit of insurance so I hope that helps uh, hopefully you're not even more confused but um, it's a lot of fun once you get going and you've worked a couple bubbles they just uh, go like gangbusters so enjoy your cowl just let me know of any questions and I'll talk to you soon happy knitting